welcome to the Sprint 2 Arclight demo. I'm going to talk about uh, features developed and, um, and shipped in this Sprint uh, throughout this demo. So the first thing you may see here in the browser is that we now have a continuous deployment set up with Arclight. Uh, so we have a demo application that's using Arclight. It's deployed on uh, AWS, and we have it with a custom domain. Um, uh, kind of within the continuous deployment, we've also added uh, EAD validation for our fixture objects to make sure that we're um, indexing valid EADs. And you may also notice some cosmetic changes from last week. We added a uh, ArcLight logo just to know that we're on a custom, um, you know, a custom uh, version of Blacklight, ArcLight, and uh, that users could um, or institutions could customize their application in the same way. Uh, some styling on the home page has also changed, um, and that's because we've uh, updated ArcLight to point at the latest um, Blacklight master, which uses Bootstrap 4. Uh, we, we did this so that we wouldn't uh, be introducing ourselves to technical debt when um, in the coming months when Blacklight 7 uh, is released. I can search Arclight here and return results. Some changes made in this past sprint are we've added some new facets. So uh, new facets exist uh, here. Um, we've also added the date range slider plugin. So this happens by default in the ArcLight installation process. Uh, you can hover over and see different areas and how many uh, limit a uh, search uh, by a date range. In addition to uh, search results, we've uh, added a lot of functionality to the collection uh, detail page. The collection detail page uh, now has this top header bar here. Um, we've also uh, added a date to the title. So previously, this would have just read Alpha Omega Alpha Archives, and we've added in the uh, date range uh, there. And you'll see a lot of a lot more metadata showing up here on this page as well. So we've added a new feature to ArcLight, which allows an adopter to create and customize metadata sections. So you have a bunch of different metadata sections here, summary, access and use, background, and an ArcLight adopter could you could configure this uh, to how they want it to display. Um, and so we've configured this based off the uh, designs. And we've provided a navigation panel here on the left hand side. So perhaps I want to see related. I can click that and it'll take me down the page to relate it. We've also added this other panel here, um, this content sidebar here on the side. And this allows user to easily see uh, additional information about the uh, collection here. So I can you know, open and close these or expand them um, to you know, easily access terms and conditions or uh, maybe citation information. Uh, so that's it for the Sprint 2 demo. Thanks for joining.